In my previous video, I mentioned 10 big changes for Storm Connections. Since then, we have seen more gameplay and I have noticed more things that have changed or were not mentioned in my previous video or are completely new for Storm Connections. So, let's talk about them. Now, Leader Switch casts one full bar instead of half bar, as you can see in this video. When you Leader Switch, Support Gauge recovers faster. If your support type has a strike back and you use a paper bomb, now they will not able to strike you back anymore. As you can see in this clip, Sasuke throws a bomb and Naruto didn't strike back the opponent, so it's gone. All characters have a short time when they're in awakening mode. Now it lasts about 15-16 seconds. Some of you are really happy about it because you say they won't abuse awakening mode that much and some of you are really upset about this because it's way too short and I kinda agree with you. In my opinion they can nerf the damage and increase the awakening mode time to last longer. The storm gauge also has a short duration time, similar to awakening mode it lasts about 15-16 seconds. For the comparison, storm gauge in storm 4 lasts about 30 seconds. Tilts are officially gone and most tilt moves became a second jutsu. For example, Shisui's second jutsu was actually a tilt from all Storm games. The same goes to Naruto, Obito, Awakening Mode Sakura, Sasuke and probably 90% of characters. The majority of characters now have at least one air jutsu which is great. Jirai can use his second jutsu in the midair, Hinata can use her 65 pole guard also midair. Kakashi's fireball jutsu can be used in midair. Actually, this is a really great thing to do because in Storm 4, not all characters could use their jutsus in midair. That means all characters will be more useful than before. Now, guard breaks faster and stun doesn't last that long. For example, if you break someone's guard and try to use ultimate jutsu, he will recover from it before you hit with ultimate. So that's how fast you can recover from guard break. Whenever Kawaki uses his karma absorption jutsu, it not only deals damage, but it also absorbs opponent's chakra. He can also absorb projectiles and ninjutsus, and after this, his karma becomes more visible and probably he gets his attack buff. I've been asked a lot and now I have this answer. Since we have two jutsus now, and can we use the second jutsu for the support character? And answer is yes. You can see here in this clip Naruto used Kawaki's support jutsu. For the first time he uses his karma absorption jutsu and the next time he used karma discharge and the same goes for shisui the first time he uses flash devil as a first jutsu and the second time he used his hello dance jutsu i think in order to activate the second jutsu you have to press and hold the support attack button but if you want to use the first jutsu you just press it normally just like in previous storm games when Shisui performed the down combo, at the end he called Madara, but the support gauge didn't consume. Most likely it's a bug, but still worth mentioning. I believe Cyber Connect 2 removed elemental effects from Storm connections, because when Jura used his fire style jutsu on Asura, his health didn't deplete over time due to fire damage. And Indra, when used his lightning cell on water, didn't get the same effect that has in Storm 4. It also worth mentioning that we don't get armor break display, like in Storm 4, but we get somehow similar results. In Storm 4, you must have 50% of HP to get armor break message, yet in Storm Connections, you don't get this message at all. But after the first round, your costume is damaged. Baron mode Naruto has two renders. If you play with him, the render icon is Kurama Chakra mode. But if you switch to another character, the support icon changes to Baron mode Naruto. I know it doesn't affect the gameplay at all, but like I mentioned in my previous video, 
I love to add the small details, small changes in my videos. And the last thing is when the CPU wins the game, you can see his victory pose. In the old Storm games, whenever the CPU won, we only could choose rematch, change character or to go to main menu. But now in this clip you can see Asura won the game and he has his victory pose and victory quote. Hopefully this time I didn't miss any features or new stuff in Storm Connections. If I did, please let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your friends. And like always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.